Hello everybody and welcome back again to Dragon Age Inquisition. So, uh, we spent about two episodes in Skyhold and now we're talking to our companions and doing some other stuff like judging people. And I have some stuff planned for today. But as usual, before I do anything else, let's look at our war table. Alright, uh, let's have a look. Um, and by the way, I think I think I made a decision dis uh, concerning the DLCs. We and rest I think contained I will... in the area. We can send in smaller groups to offer relief. I agree. Are you well? A headache. Nothing more. <laughs> um, uh, I hope so, Cullen. <laughs> Uh, what, whatever happened to taking a day off? Uh, you, you didn't do this, did you? Ah, stubborn man. But yeah, I'm going to play, I'm going to play the DLC after I finish the main game, because apparently they don't actually relate directly to the main story, so it's probably, um, neater to do them afterwards. Anyway, let's, let's have a look at our missions. Um, this is a Darkspawn one. Inquisitor, the Grey Wardens fought bravely and with great skill. The town of Valgamor was saved and the Wardens themselves took few casualties. They await further commands. Commander Cullen and a new operation unlocked that worked out pretty well. Destroy Adamant Fortress. The charges did what they could to tear down the walls. The demons in the area didn't seem to appreciate the effort, but my men escaped without significant losses. No one will be using Adamant Fortress against us, Inquisitor. It's nothing more than a pile of rubble now. The ten Crimis is a classy. Alright. That's another good news. And yeah, this was a mysterious one. Our soldiers report that they passed through the tunnel without incident and surprised a seizable venatory encampment. After the battle they had to find a different route back because the tunnel had been collapsed. They found this letter, Liliana. A letter on dark vellum with obviously dwarven markings. You follow instructions well. Respect of our territory is a first step. We shall see. Benthus Warham Kalsharok. <laughs> so, do I understand this correctly? This is basically some un unknown dwarven type. Uh, because I think until now it was, you know, the common opinion that the only dwarven type left is Orzama. You know, that is still inhabited by dwarves. So, this is actually pretty interesting. And they gave us something for Bianca, of course. Okay, um, yeah, let's just look at the ones at the bottom here. Inquisitor, we've received reports of an abandoned gold mine in the hills south of Griffinwing Keep. According to the locals, the mine's still capable of producing. It was abandoned only because the threat of darkspawn attack made the operation unfeasible. Should we dispatch soldiers to secure the place and guard any wagons that make their way to the keep, it should add considerably to our income for the future. Cullen. I can send soldiers to set up a camp at the mine straight away, Inquisitor. Um, yeah, sure. All right. Let's do this. And this is a continuation of what we just did, right? Find source of darkspawn attacks. Inquisitor. The darkspawn at Valgamord have been slain, but it remains unclear what brought these creatures to the surface. There is no obvious sign, and I am concerned that they might still pose a danger. Marquise Buffon has made clear her wishes that we now depart, which leaves me even more suspicious, as most would welcome further help in these dangerous times. Hmm. The Grey Wardens have volunteered to assist with the investigation of this mystery in whatever capacity the Inquisition deems most fitting. We wait your orders. Yours, Lieutenant Suzanne Kloschsek. <laughs> Alright. Uh, someone may have been mining the area and freed the darkspawn that way. Let me examine the finances of nobles nearby. Hmm. The blight is many things, but it is not subtle. My scouts can easily track the corruption to its source. Let the Wardens spread out, score the area. They'll find out where those darkspawn are coming from soon enough. Hmm. Should I wait for Cullen to return? I mean, the other the other options don't seem so bad either. So yeah, maybe Liliana let's see can what we have. Take care of this. 
And yeah, let's find something for Josephine. According to Dorian, it might be possible to discover who Corypheus once was. Knowing he was human could make him less attractive to the winter zealots who think, him, who think of him as a god. Acquiring these, this information, however, is more difficult than one might suppose. Such ancient information could be found in the Magisterium's library in Minrathus, but the Grand Archivist has so far replied to our messages with polite misdirection. Dorian says he is the king of this particular castle and knows it. He might be blocking our efforts out of allegiance to Corypheus or simply because he can. <laughs> Bribe the man with gifts and favors. This is normal for the winter and what he expects. Go around him. I can send an agent to infiltrate the archive and find what we need. Men like this respond to one thing. Threats. <laughs> he knows who you are and doesn't want to be your enemy. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't put it past Freya to just threaten the guy. But maybe we can try to be a bit more subtle. And I mean, if this is the to to winter way, then let let's let's try it this way. Sure, why not? Inquisitor. Okay. Um. So that's that's everyone. Uh. Yeah. Let's let's leave. All right. So I. Uh, we're done with this for today and yeah like like I said I want to go a little bit shopping I mean after after the terrible terrible experience at adamant I think we need a little bit of relaxation <laughs> so why not why not go shopping I want to go to Valroyo because apparently there are some new shops that I haven't checked and I think I may actually go to the uh, Black Emporium again because um. I have so much money and I think I should um, use it to buy some stuff. So, um, before we uh, head out into the next area, let's first of all go back to Valroyo. Yeah, I think, I think I've never actually been to this shop, so let's travel there and yeah, let's, let's take the girls out shopping. <laughs> there we go. Theron for Redoubt. Vita. The First Inquisition. <laughs> And oh yeah, I can I can level up most oh of my companions. My, you'd think we'd lost another divine. <laughs> well what? judged. Your evaluation is spot on. <laughs> what's what's going on here? <laughs> why why did he faint? Um do I really want to know? Alright, oh um There's Josephine's mission, but I don't I don't actually want to do I this trust today. You've heard what befell Roderick at Haven. I'm not entirely clear, actually. An army of some sort attacked. So we're told. He died a hero, leading the people of Haven to safety through the mountains. Sweet Andraste died his final rest. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, in the end he did die a hero. All right. Um, yeah, look look at this place. Man, this, this is a fancy place. Let's, let's shop a little bit. Royal Rest of Olé. A plaque reads, Here at the heart of the bazaar we offer the finest artisanal pieces for the boudoir. Both shop and museum, <laughs> our merchandise is modeled on the tastes of our most glorious rulers of the past. Rest well, compatriots. Rest nation Olé. <laughs> okay, let me see what you sell. Um, okay, some crafting materials. Fair enough. No schematics, and oh, I see this. This is stuff for my uh, for my castle. So um, we can get some draperies. Hmm. And maybe let's get the free marcher one and the Ferelden one and the Inquisition one. I mean, I don't have to buy all of this at once, right? 
How about a new bed? I mean, somebody suggested that I get a new bed. Um, I don't know. Let's let's take the free marches bed. <laughs> there we go. And I can get a different glass. Um, how about some Danish glass? There. Completely pointless consumerism. Yes, <laughs> I approve. I approve. And <laughs> I actually got an achievement for that. Uh, amazing. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, I can, I can probably re read that later. Um, however, before I leave this place again... So Gaspard uh, favors the trade you've started, but Celine favors the houses you married into? And in the balance is certainty of the future. <laughs> well, that's what you lot call certainty? Betting on both? I suppose you are on the surface because dwarves know better. <laughs> Fair point. Maybe. Arse. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to check the other shop um, over here because they always have some nice stuff. Alright, yeah, this, this is uh, where I bought the uh, resistance tonics, by the way. Mm. Well, look at that. Apparently, I, I missed some codex entries uh, in, in Adamant Fortress. Well, it's, it's a good thing that I can, I can still buy them here, though. Alright. That's actually very convenient that um, I can do that. Mm. Yeah, I don't think that they have anything new to sell, so maybe let's have a look at... Yeah, look, Josephine standing over here. Um, I'm sorry that I have to keep you waiting for a while longer, so I hope you can just en enjoy the day and maybe do some shopping on your own. <laughs> because I think now I actually would like to uh, buy something from the Black Emporium. So, let's see. Um, uh, preferably I would like to see some of the schematics again. <laughs> Would you consider allowing me to acquire your <laughs> hand? <laughs> After your death, of course. Um, yeah, sure, why not? As long as you don't try to kill me to get it. Also, somebody somebody said that the statue, the, you know, uh, the Lyrium statue of <laughs> Meredith is here somewhere. Latin, bring me a moist <laughs> towel. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I can find it somewhere. It's probably not on on sale, but um. Oh, oh yes, yes. Look at that. That's her. <laughs> oh, I, I kind of want to buy her. Come on, can can I buy her? I want to buy Meredith. You, you can have my hand once I'm dead. If I can buy Meredith, I want to put her up somewhere in Skyhold and love at it. <laughs> anyway, uh, let let me look at um. These schematics, yeah, they're still extremely expensive, but um, maybe that is a tier three sword schematic. Ooh, hmm, <laughs> that is that is actually not not such a bad thing. Uh, I, I may actually want to get that. Help yourself to a sock from the basket, but only one. Um, I don't. I don't need a single sock, you know. <laughs> um, and this is a tier three shield schematic. That, that is a nice thing as well, because I'm pretty sure the current one is only tier two. Um yeah, I think I think that's 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 what I want. I, I want this and um I need eight and six uh metals for it. So maybe I can buy some nice tier three metal as well to make me some really, really nice shield. How about that? 
This this is shopping right after my heart. You you just know how to make a girl happy. Uh, uh, Xenon. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's let's buy the shield schematic, and I needed fourteen. Um, no, these are these are the crafting materials, right? I think you're not selecting the right shop. <laughs> um. Why, why are you doing this? Okay, this I I don't know I don't know why it's still selected the other shop. So yeah, we have we have some tier three metal. Um, yeah, sure. Let's buy fourteen of it. That's enough for s shield. Okay. And yeah, I think I can I can use some some normal leather for it for now. Anyway, thank you very much, Xenon. <laughs> that was some nice shopping. And I don't even want to know what that thing is. <laughs> anyway, let's let's leave. Um I actually I actually may want to go back and craft something with this, so um, I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm. I'm just going back to Skyhold. I don't need a party for that. So yeah, let me let me go back to Skyhold. I'm going to craft me a nice new shield, and once I'm done with this, I will bring you back, and then we will head out to the Exalted Plains. All right, I am back, and I have crafted. Oh yes, I have crafted. And look, look at this shield. This shield is literally twice as good. As the old one. This is the old one, 24 armor rating, new one, 48. Um, I mean, this is tier 3 material, tier 3 schematic, and it's also a masterwork. So it's a really damn good shield, and I guess I can use this shield for quite a while. <laughs> um, it's called Stormguard because it's made from Stormheart, obviously. And it also goes quite nicely with my sword, which is also made from Stormheart. Um, by the way, if you've been wondering why my sword is called Feeder of Ravens, um, that is a translation of an old Norse canning. Um, cannings are basically uh, poetic devices in skaldic poetries, you know, skalds, the Viking poets, <laughs> and they used a lot of very descriptive, very colorful metaphors in their poetry and um, obviously they had a lot of different different words for everything relating to battle there were like hundreds of different words for sword uh, feeder of ravens is actually not a canning for sword it's a canning for warrior and uh, the meaning I mean you can probably guess why it's called feeder of ravens a warrior kills people and then the ravens come and feast on the corpses so the warrior is feeding the ravens by killing people <laughs> and I figured it would also be a fitting name for a sword because you use the sword to kill people but technically feed of ravens is actually a metaphor for warrior um, yeah but uh, just just a little bit of background information and yeah I actually I actually changed the deco in here this is the Olesian one uh, very fancy and I think those are the Inquisition uh, draperies that we bought in Val <laughs> I also I also tried a new throne. This is the uh, Pavolin one, the Kanavi one. And I mean, I gotta say, it looks really, really intimidating. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm probably going to change it though, because I, I think this is a little bit too much. I mean, honestly. <laughs> and... I did change the windows, but apparently it doesn't apply to these windows. Um, it's probably the ones in my quarters. And I actually want to see my new bed, so let's just quickly go to the quarters and look at that as well. And I think then we can finally um, leave Skyhold again. So, let's see. Oh yeah, th these are the new windows. These are the Dalish windows. They're very nice. And oh, this is my new bed. It's it's nice. It has a 
this little I don't know what it, this is called in English, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure the old one didn't didn't have this. It it looks it looks a lot like um, Hawk's bed, which makes sense because this is the free marcher bed. <laughs> well, now now we just have have to make good use of it, right? Right, Cullen? <laughs> Oh, I'm terrible. Anyway, let's let's go and oh, Varric wants something from us. I I didn't see that. Um, maybe maybe we can look at that before before doing anything else. All right, Varric. What what can I do for you? Oh, you Would have, you have guessed, guessed such a pairing. Oh yes, the lure of command, <laughs> noble names, classically arousing <laughs> in every sense. Careful, um, ears. Yeah, I'm of I'm course. right here. I'm right here listening. Uh, somebody told me that the nobles uh, in, in the hall they are talking about the state of my my relationship. And I mean, I finally have one, so they actually start talking about it. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, let's see what Varric uh, wants from us. I appreciate the warning, but you shouldn't have come yourself. What if the guild found out, or what's his name? Are you worrying for me or for yourself? A little of column A, a little of column B. <laughs> I am the expendable one, after all. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, I'll protect you. We'll just have to... Well, this is a surprise. You're the Inquisitor, right? Bianca Davry, at your service. <laughs> Bianca, eh? <laughs> yeah, like the crossbow. Your name is Bianca. It's a common name. Half mm -hmm. the girls in the Merchant's Guild are named Bianca. The other half are named Helga. <laughs> I lucked out. All right, and you're a friend of Varric? I take it you're a friend of Varric's. Who isn't a friend of Varric's? You have met him before, right? <laughs> Well, yeah, it's it's a pleasure. Any friend of Varric's is welcome here. Be careful saying things like that. Some of his friends you don't want to meet. Well, maybe you do. Who am I to judge? Bianca's got a lead on where Corypheus got his red lyrium. All right. The site of Bartrand's folly, the tag Varric found, has been leaked. There's a deep roads entrance crawling with strange humans carting out red lyrium by the handful. Okay, um... Is that the only way in? How do we know they're not using multiple entrances to get to the Taig? Navigating the deep roads isn't like the surface. There's no accurate maps of the whole system, and there are cave-ins, dark spawn, lava floods. If you find a route that gets where you're going, you don't deviate. Trying to find another way could be deadly. Hmm. And who leaked the location? Who could have given away the Taig's location? There were a few people who knew. Hirelings from the expedition, a couple of close friends. How they found out isn't important. What matters is we know where they are now. Hm. And you know who it, where it is. If it's such a secret, how do you know about it, Bianca? I told her. Hm. Right after the expedition, I wrote and told Bianca what we found. I had artifacts that needed buyers, and she had more contacts that would pay for them. Plus, I owed her. Um, and yeah, the Taik was in Kirkwall, or at least, you know, somewhere in the vicinity. You can get there from Orlais. It's a long way to the free marches. The deep roads are all connected. Or they used to be. Collapses and such. Some of them on purpose. They really are roads. They spanned the Dwarven Empire. Went to every corner of the continent. Maybe further. <laughs> in theory, you can get to any Taig using the deep roads. But in practice, well, there's a reason nobody uses them anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah, we definitely should shut this down. We need to deal with this. As long as he has this source, Corypheus is that much more powerful. I couldn't agree more. I'll keep an eye on their operation. If you're interested in shutting it down, you've got my help. Try not to leave me waiting too long, Varric. I've got my own work to do, you know. <laughs> okay. Right. That's not going to be trouble at all. Let me know when you want to head to the entrance. <laughs> Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is this is a companion mission. It totally is. Enter Valama. 
Oh, that's the place in the hinterland. I need to go there anyway at some point. Okay, um, but but I I don't want to do this um now because um I think it's time to get uh, my specializations and for that we will travel to the exalted plains. Yes, let's do this. Um. Yeah, I mean, Solus Quest is in that region, so I guess we should take him along. Although I didn't bring Vivienne with me for a while, well, not counting the shopping. But I mean, why not have two mages uh, for, for a change? And maybe Sarah. Alright? Yeah, let's do this. Oh. Inquisitor, welcome to the Exalted Plains, hmm. a place with a long and bloody history. Even now, the region is volatile. <sighs> this was a front in the Civil War. Now there's rebels called the Freemen of the Dales, recently emerged and adding to the chaos. Alright, so tell me of this bloody history. This is where the elves made their last stand, isn't it? Ah, you've studied the Dales. Yes. When offered a chance to lay down their arms and surrender, they refused. Hmm. Uh, tell me about the Freemen of the Dales, then. This rebel group. Tell me more about them. They seem to be simple deserters, tired of fighting and dying for either the Empress or the Grand Duke. Now they want the Dales for their own. Worse, they're more organized than we anticipated. Be wary. And anything else? What else can you tell me? Scouts have sighted Dalish elves. There must be a clan camp somewhere on the plains. All right, thank you. That will be all. Thank you. With the rifts and the undead, the Arlesians have lost ground. Most have been driven back to their forts. We have to stabilize the region, allowing the Imperial Army to re-establish its presence. Good luck, Your Worship. You'll need it. Okay. Um, Exalted Plains. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at this. Hmm. Undead ramparts to the west. Oh, this is for Vivienne. Okay. This is the quest for Solus. This is for Dorian. And this is for Cassandra. Yeah, I may have to change up my team a little bit if I want to do these quests. But, um... Where? Where would I find my champions? Gilanine's Grove, Hilan Sulan and the Desolate Bank. Yeah, um, obviously I need to need to explore this place first before I know where to go. So I guess uh, first order of business would probably be to establish one camp, and this is the nearest one. So let's let's just go and um, do this. But um, I need to equip potions because I used up a bunch of them in my last fight. Let's just make sure that everyone is fully equipped. And there we go. Alright, um, yeah, a new place to discover. Let's, let's have a look. Inquisitor, I have something for you. Yeah, uh, I, I'm not, not interested at the moment. And there is a bunch of landmarks. Right in this vicinity. <laughs> let me let me pick these up before I continue. Guardians of the path, a plaque on the statue reads, "Let the eternal flame purify your soul." Hm. Okay. And I already see some enemies over there. Oh, these are the freemen. Um. Okay. Yeah, hang on, hang on a moment. Um, let me let me grab those landmarks. A 
Let the light of unjust lift your spirits. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Uh, it's the yeah, level eleven. Um. Yeah. Let me uh, quickly kill these guys, and then we can maybe look at one of our trials to make things a little bit more interesting. Um, and this is the last one. Keep I think. off the ramparts. I wonder why. <laughs> well, if if somebody tells me to keep off the ramparts, then that's a good reason for me to actually go there. Also, I, I thought I had leveled up all my companions already, but apparently I haven't. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm currently I'm just investing it into all their um, into all their specializations, and we will we will look at this. Uh, what? Why? I I didn't I didn't pick that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I wanted. Thank you. Uh, there is another landmark. Memorials of the Second Exalted March, the Path of Flame. Remember where Andraste's champion first set foot in the Exalted Plains called Dir Savaran by the Elves. Halamshiral's dark heart was conquered, but one last challenge came from the Elves, who would not submit to the Maker. They gathered upon the plain. Our champions answered their call. Marching in Andraste's light on the Path of Flame, Lord Demetrius Aaron, Sister Amity, and Sir Brandis of Luck, Celestine called the Silver Helm. Um, yeah, this is this is not a not a nice part of history. Freeman messages: The Inquisition has arrived. They will take the Dales and say it is the herald of a justice right. There is no such right. These lands should be yours. We cannot allow the Inquisition to gain a foothold. As our lays choose the true defenders, you know what to do. Guardian. Do I actually want this land? I mean, I'm mostly here to kill some champions, you know? <laughs> um, anyway, anyway, let's go and... Yeah, I'm not sure if I can actually make it to that camp today. But it's definitely our first stop. Embryum. Yeah, I have a good amount of Embryum. Dear sir, enclosed is payment for the last shipment. The Lord greatly enjoyed the fish, prepared exactly as he recommended. How do you do that? Uh, please keep them coming. He has a hankering for truth this week. For real. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is apparently the fish and what happened to it. Such a waste. Okay, let me charge into this rogue that just stealthed. <laughs> Much better. Um, no, 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 no! Don't, don't run away from me, you damn rogue! Uh, let me try to shatter this guy. And yeah, there is. There is a rage demon running around as well. Um, I think you should step away. And I will deal with the rage demon. And there we go. Woo. Yeah, and I made I made this pretty wicked star for Vivienne. It's like a blade for, uh, you know, some sort of spirit blade. And I mean, she's she's a knight enchanter, and that's like a spirit warrior or similar to that, you know, those that use blades, right? So I hope I, I gave this to the right person. <laughs> anyway, let me pick up the loot. Um, and this as well. Oh. I'll take this. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to bother with resources um, for the time being. 
Instead, let me have a look at what's going on here. This place looks... Looks like a mess, and there's dead people everywhere, and fires burning, and... Somebody's fighting over there. Let, let me have a look at that. Um, Thank can we help you? <laughs> I thought I was dead. Um, and who might you be? How can anyone stop these things? Um, yeah, who are you? Are you Imperial Army? Yes, Your Worship. I fight on the side of Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, mm. rightful Emperor of Olay. And the fighting has stopped, yes? The peace talks in Halam Sharal mean an end to hostilities, don't they? We're no longer fighting each other, but the demons, the dead. Mm. It was easier when we fought just men. You can win against men. <laughs> What's going on? What's happened here? We were trying to retake the ramparts from the dead. They rise here, somewhere within these trenches. It started when those free men showed up. Strange lights, like blue fire. It must be magic. But the free men are just deserters from the armies. How could they have hmm. managed this? And why? Well, there may be more going on I should than be that. going. So... Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, what's that? Look at those beetles or whatever that is. <laughs> um, yeah, this place is... I don't know. It's, it's very confusing and slightly creepy as well. Anyway, I saw a chest over here. And yeah, I think I'm going to make today's episode a little bit longer so that we can actually get something done, except, you know, shopping. <laughs> um. hm. Yeah, I don't think Yeah, I could I could get there, but let me let me check that out later. I wanna I wanna see what's going on in this place. Um yeah, apparently corpses are going on here. Oh, oh, hang on a second, hang on a second. That's an arcane horror. Hmm. Yeah, I think I should I should take care of him. I'm sure my guys can deal with a few corpses. Um, and now he, of course, teleported. Well... And he teleported again. Um, yeah, well, you shouldn't try to melee them, Solus. That you shouldn't try. Uh, where are you? Where are you? All right, he's over here now. Um, I really wish he would stop doing that. I really wish he would stop doing that. Um, oh, there are actually a lot of them, I believe. Um, more than I anticipated. Yeah, I I'm going to help you as soon as I have finished this arcane horror, which shouldn't be much longer. Um, did I, did I actually kill it? Um, yeah, I think Solus definitely needs my help over here. Let's do this. Very nice. We taunt all of them. There we go. And has more corpses coming. There we go. Get away from Sarah, please. Thank you. Huh. Yeah, this this is not the best place to fight with three ranged guys. Although I guess that Vivienne is now sort of melee, um, <laughs> since I gave her that blade. But it is it is kind of close quarters. Anyway, um, let me have a look at that thing over there. That looks like one of those barriers. Yeah, it it definitely is one of those barriers. That's where the dead are coming from. 
Ah, I see. Um, let me grab this loot first. Oh, this is where the arcane horror died. Okay, let me deal with the barrier. There we go. Um, burn. Do you feel her? Spirits are being deliberately drawn here. There may be more of these pets. Hmm. We'll have to find them. All right, all right. Yeah, maybe, maybe this is something we can do uh, today, and after that we f can finish this episode, because at least then we will have achieved something. Oh, whoa! Wh what's going on here? A wolf. Let me deal with the wolf, and I think I just killed a holla as well. <laughs> that was not my intention, but. I guess it did happen. They look they look so beautiful though. Look at them. <laughs> well, let me take the loot and Yeah, it's it's somewhere over there. Um can I can I take this, please? Last words to my loved ones. If this letter reaches you, now that I died, and I died well in service of the noble Grand Duke, I did not run like others did when the battle grew too much. I did not lose faith in the Maker. I was courageous till the end. Yours always, Julian. <laughs> All right. Now uh, let me. Oh, th there is there's another arcane horror. Wow. Um. Yeah. Uh, again, I think. I would like to deal with him first. Maybe we can just speed things up a little bit here. I don't know what just happened, but for some reason I just got drawn over there and misplaced my mark of the rift. That was very strange. Anyway, um, let me <laughs> go and deal with this guy. Um, and now he's over there. The teleporting ones are always the most annoying ones. Um, yeah, you can just take potion. And he's back. And he's dead. But I think there's still corpses over here. <laughs> All right. Um, it's really weird to see Vivian fight like that. I may, I may need to craft a different. Uh, I heard about your organization, home. Sarah. I am impressed. Is this a trick? Hardly, but it is an opportunity. You have already divided your group's membership. That is wise. No one cell can betray all your secrets. The next step is to establish a rhythm. When your enemies pursue, you vanish. When they become complacent, you harass them. When they are weak, you strike in earnest. Where'd you get all this, then? Do you wish <laughs> to be unnerved by another tale of my explorations of the Fade? Or do you wish to learn something? I don't know. Neither? <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe maybe he had got a point there, Sarah. But yeah, as I was just about to say, um... Maybe I should craft her a different coat, one that has some melee defense. That would make sense. I never really got melee defense for mages because obviously they don't really need it. Alright. Blow the signaling horn. Okay. Let's do that. Um, oh, that's on top of that. Yeah, I need I need to explore this place in more detail. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, let's let's blow it. <laughs> well, did I leave that hammer? All right, so this place is takes longer than anything else. It's now um, apparently inhabited again. Okay, yeah, I think I think this is this is a good time to end this episode because we actually managed to achieve at least something. <laughs> um, yeah, I will explore this place a little bit in the next episode, and then I will move on 
to this camp and then probably just you know continue to the next and hopefully hopefully find those champions sooner or later so thank you for watching and see you again in the next episode